So which one should we pick? I don't know, man. I think we might do girl in first class. That might be a good idea. Yeah. I think that's what we'll do. This is Virginia. Virginia Madsen. I like Virginia. She's, she's cool. Two weeks before the fateful encounter. Two weeks, two weeks... Virginia Maxwell, age 18. Her life in the village where she lived had always been graced with peace and tranquility. That must be nice. That all changed the day the village was invaded by demi-humans from a neighboring settlement. This place is called Boot Hill, by the way. Her life as she knew it ended that day. However, this was also the start of her journey. Spoiled princess? No. Quite the opposite. So this is Tesla. There, you've taken everything we have. I ask that you leave here at once and leave us in peace. <laughs> Uncle Tesla! Says Virginia. Tesla Colt. Hobgob boss. Gob, gob. Tough words from loser. Me teach you lesson. So, of course, gobs are in this game. Classics. Classic wild arms enemy. But this is the first game where they actually speak. <laughs> Might is right. So you are wrong. And me am right. Me am right. So me am cool. Gob, gob. <laughs> So I guess the red one's the leader, and the green ones are just, like, grunts. Gob, gob. Me am strong, so always hungry. So me come here for food. So that is rule, and me am cool. Gob, gob. Gob, gob. You are uncool, so you feed me and buddies. That is new rule. That me decide. Gob, gob. Feed you? We can't afford to do that. We'd all... Yeah, so basically this is like a poor farming village. And the gobs are stealing what food they barely have. Oh, he just headbutted him! Gob, gob. Tastes good. We get full quickly. You have no food, then eat some of that. Gob, gob. Okay. They're taking their food! The very little food that they have. Now the village is gonna starve. That's sad. I'm alright. Don't worry about me. My name's Tesla. Everyone is safe, and that's all that matters. Too bad they're all gonna starve now. Virginia. Where's Virginia? Oh, she probably went to her room to play some Sukoden. So it looks like the gulps have a hideout. And she followed them on Twitch. Gulps hideout. So this is Virginia's dungeon. I, I like how it looks like she's wearing, like, a colonial dress kind of thing. Yikes. Rusty hinges. Great. Now they probably know I'm here, but... There's no turning back now. I've got to push ahead and prove myself. Yeah. It's time to fly. Except not really. So this is Virginia. She's in the lowest level. She starts in level one. I like this song, though. Yeah. So she has two arms, actually. Rapier EZ and Banto Ray 93R. They're basically like, like pistols or revolvers. It's pretty good stuff. 
So we, we definitely need to level up. Being in level one is just not going to work for me. And I like how she has the Arc Scepter. Like, okay, sure. And she has no tools, so that's pretty awesome. Woo! Open that door. Carlton Sheet style. Bum bum bum. How you doing? Oh, hello. <laughs> they jump in the air. That's funny. So her force ability is mystic. Much like in the previous games, it applies the effects of of an item to the entire party, so that's a thing. Boom! Wreck. So these enemies are quite pathetic, but we definitely need to gain some levels with Virginia. She's in freaking level one. That's just sad. So this is what it's like to actually fight. Only the strong survive. The law of the wasteland. All that shooting must have alerted the others. I can't just stand around like this. I have to stop shaking. Control yourself. Stay strong. I'm going to have to fly on my own. Yeah, she talks about flying a lot. That's, you know. I guess she's a... She's a pilot, so that's how that works. Ooh, boy. We got bookshelves. You can read in this game. I always love that. Birds of passage catches your eye. As its verdure recedes, our world, Philgaia, is slowly but steadily swallowed up by wasteland. Long ago, the forces of this world battled furiously with those of another. The scars left behind form the beginnings of the Great Barren Lands. Despite the danger, brave souls trek through these deserts in search of adventure. They are called drifters. Like birds in the sky, these nomads are constantly on the move. They honor Alan Smithy as the first drifter and wander tirelessly from land to land. Alan Smithy, huh? That's interesting. To those who come and go. Just like birds of passage, drifters do not follow a set path. It is a trackless path they wander. Their path is only complete once they reach their destination. Their willpower leads them onward and gives them the strength to fly. However, willpower is ephemeral and will not last. Wings may break or tire during travel. This is true for all drifters as well. Should you ever embark as a drifter, I highly recommend you rest your wings before your, before your relentless will gets the best of you. To those who come and go, never lose sight of your destination, and I wish you Godspeed. Kudio. So we can pick up some crates. Toss them around. Revive Fruit. Much like in previous games, sometimes we'll have items in them. Sometimes not. Boom! No, you go! No, you go! That That's basically their, their idol thing. Boom! Haha! -ha. Yeah, so Mystic is pretty much useless right now. So no sense in doing that. So Vir Virginia actually has five shots, which is cool. I guess we can do Gatling. Why not? Boom! Boom! So it, it basically takes all the shots you have left. So the more shots, the more damage you'll end up doing. We should, we should gain a level in the next fight. Tool Tinder Crest acquired. Press the square button to fling this highly flammable Crest Graph straight ahead. So in, in this game, Crest Graphs don't teach you magic. They actually are tools. The Tinder Crest can also be used to light candles and torches. Pretty much the exact opposite of the the freezer doll. 
Throw a card that ignites the target. Oh yeah, we can play cards. It's pretty awesome. Bonk. Anything in here? Nope, okay. Lodolinsky's tip for reloading. Shots from an arm may land quicker than a sword, but everyone knows that without bullets, arms might be might as well be scrap. Remember to reload your arms after each and every battle. It, it they actually get get reloaded automatically, by the way, a a after a battle. But what do you do if you empty your clip in the middle of a shootout? Don't panic. Keep your cool. Protect yourself and reload your arm. After all, brawling with your bare hands may be gutsy, but guts alone can't save you. <laughs> Arms are automatically reloaded after each battle. When in battle, use the guard command to reload your arm. Yeah. Till the sun sets. The estate and fortune I inherited from my ancestors have reached rock bottom during my watch. Just as the sun sets in the west, the waddly fortune will fall be below the horizon. My family and my servants have left me, and here I am alone in this mansion, making note of how the waddily fortune has come to an end. See you later. I would like to dedicate this memoir to the next tenant of this mansion, so that they do not make the same mistake I did. Do not let desire lead you astray. Coolio. Only one of the two torches is lit. Something doesn't seem right. Well, I mean, that's pretty obvious. Yeah. Not sure why lighting a torch opens a door, but it does. There's a chest that we can't get just yet. Oh boy. So here you actually have to walk across these by holding circle so you eat so you kind of walk carefully. Otherwise they'll fall. You couldn't really do that in previous games. Also, uh, there's some chests up that ladder, but we can't get to them until much later. Are you sensing a theme? Dunna. Ba da ba. Oh yeah. No, you go. No, you go. <laughs> the bad thing about doing that is it, it doesn't give me any FP, but, you know, whatever. That's the way it is. Bonk! Yeah, get those higher damage rolls. That's what we want. Uh, no. It's not what we're doing. There you go. Levelage! You definitely need to level up, Virginia. A device is keeping the door shut. Occasionally, you'll need to operate devices or use tools to get past certain traps and obstacles. If you can't make any progress, check the area thoroughly for conspicuous objects. Also keep in mind that some areas become accessible only after you acquire certain tools. So basically, don't, don't be a tool. Figure it out, man. Just figure it out. So you want to light this. Obviously. You can come on in here. Ba -da. Da -da -da. I still didn't one-shot the jerk. Hit those low damage rolls. Just uncalled for. Oh, now we do a crit. Love those crits. They're so awesome. Damn. That got me some FP. Oh, three damage. Gatling. Because why not?
I mean, not only does Gatling attack multiple times, depending on your shots, but it seems to do more damage, too. Keelberry. It's like a mirror. Could it have been the candlelight flickering? For a split second, it seemed like a shadow appeared in the mirror. I think I just saw something, but no one's behind me, right? I don't know, man. I think you're getting paranoid. Confidence versus overconfidence. Once you have enough experience and are confident in your abilities as a drifter, it might be a good idea to set your battles to auto battle. Nah, thanks. Auto battles quick and easy controls make it ideal for those on the run. But, but don't let it do all the work. Auto battle won't help you against powerful enemies because you'll need special tactics to defeat them. There's a fine line between confidence and overconfidence. Remember, every fight is different, so adjust accordingly. Which is why I never use auto battle, because I usually got gotta do specific things. That's just the way it is, man. Open that door. Open it with pride and respect. Probably not a bad idea to get into level 3 before you fight the boss. That's what I usually shoot for. Boom. And yes, pun was definitely intended. You know it. Oh yeah. Ba okay, what do we got going on in here? We got more literature. Waddley and Company's Prospectus. Here at Waddley and Company, we begin as a caravan specializing in grain. Today our business has expanded to include everything from daily commodities to arms. We strive to aggressively promote our line of fine products in order to increase total sales. This fiscal term, we have high expectations for our gross revenue, thanks to our timely acquisition of new market routes for fine arts and crafts. We at Waddley are also committed to the promotion of archaeological discovery by exhibiting objects of cultural value, such as a statue we call Stone Wolf. So, uh, unlike previous games, in this game, like more people seem to have arms, instead of just a very select few. So that's interesting. We get a Heelberry. Do do do. But um. Da gob gob. Da na. Oh yeah. Gotta love those higher damage rolls. Alrighty then. Now we can move on in here. Got more vitality. But before we move on, we can hit this and go in here. And this should take us to that chest that we saw earlier. Dunna. Bam! Oh, nice. They must have, like, exactly 28 HP or something. Maybe 27. Ba, ba, da, da. Go in here, and we can get that chest. Mini carrot, because why not? Those will definitely be useful for s certain shenanigans. Oh boy. So this is going to introduce a, a, a new feature to the game. I'm not sure what it is, but I feel like there's something important here. Better keep a sharp eye out. Better be careful. Press the X button while holding down the R2 button to pinpoint important objects in sight. If the area contains multiple important objects, pressing the X button while holding the R2 button will toggle between them. So sometimes it's good to do that when you're not really sure if there's like something you can operate. There it is. Which is pretty easy to see, but, you know. To turn the wheel, use the X button and the directional button, or, or, or the left analog stick together. 
Face the wheel and press the X button to grasp it. Then hold down the X button and rotate the left analog stick to turn the wheel in the desired direction. Pretty simple stuff. You just want to turn it to the left. It's actually a lot easier to do with the analog stick. Hey, it's all the values they, valuables they stole from us. So this is where they stashed everything. Pretty much. So you want to pick this stuff up. Healberry. 400 Gala. Whee. Gimbal coin. And of course there's a chest hidden in the corner here. Which you actually have to get in order to advance. I, I keep trying to press R to, to turn without moving, but you can't do that in this game. Duplicator acquired. Of course there's duplicators in this game. Allows you to open magically sealed doors and treasure chests. Each duplicator will disappear after use. Hmm? What's this? There's also something else. An old scrap of paper lies at the bottom of the chest where you found the duplicator. This photo that speaks of days gone by shows her father dressed in a white lab coat. She doesn't work for the Academy, does he? Her uncle once told her that her father was a scientist, but that's a side of him Virginia has never known. That's too bad. So that's kind of important. Oh. He's teaching her how to shoot. Shooting that wine bottle. That's cool. Virginia, you like shooting arms? So this is Werner. He is a very important character, if you couldn't tell. He has a pretty cool hat. Well, like the man in the yellow hat. Um, I like shooting with you, Daddy. Aw. Little Virginia. You think I can shoot two arms at once like you? Two at once? That's gonna take some practice. Okay, I'll practice real hard. So teach me, okay, Daddy? Promise? A photo of Daddy? What's it doing in here? I thought I destroyed all his pictures after Mom died, since they only brought back painful memories. Hmm. This is no time to dwell on the past. I have to do what I can for the people who need me today. You're on your own in the wasteland. Indeed you are. So we get right half. The right half of the photo. But where's the left half? Where's the blade? He'll be here. The only memento left. So you, so you can look at it if you want. In all its glory. And we get a duplicator. Which you actually need it in order to get to the boss. A key that opens magically sealed doors and chests. Indeed. Yay, a battle! Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. Boom! Ba -ba 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 boom! Da -na -na -na. And see, it's, it's good to fight three of them rather than two. Bonk. Oh yeah. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to fight here until you're in level three. You don't have to, but I'd recommend it. Only need a few more battles. It'll, it'll be even quicker if it's with three of them instead of two. You know what I'm talking about? Bunk! I do like her revolvers. They're pretty sweet. Bunk! Oh, uh, well... 
Okay. We'll level up in the next fight. Unless it's just one, which would be sad. Knowing my luck, that's probably exactly what's gonna happen, isn't it? Nope. Okay. That's fine. Do I mention how much I love this soundtrack? Because I do. Level 3! You don't need to get in level 3, but I'd recommend it. Sealed by magic. Use a duplicator to open magic with sealed doors and treasure chests. Pretty early in the game to already be needing a duplicator. But whatever, man. Yeah, alrighty then. Ah! You missed, sir. I was ready for you. you. You're the one who stole all our valuables. Yes, he is. You're the one who brought so much grief to everyone. You bastard! Alright. So this is the Hobgob boss. He has two different physical attacks. They're both pretty much the same, Tackle and Battle Axe. So much like the previous bosses, you basically got, got to get 25 FP. And you'll find out that you you can't defeat him. That's pretty much how it works. You know, because it, it has to teach you how to... Uh, use Force abilities and such. How you doing? He's still on his feet? What now? I can't back down now. Come on, focus. Stop shaking. Your wings are strong. You gotta fly. Ah! Expend FP to perform Gatling, a special technique that can turn the tide of battle. The character will perform a string of consecutive attacks, which vary according to the amount of FP consumed. So you want to reload and just use Gatling. And that'll end the fight. Also, Virginia is one of the best characters for using uh, Gatling be because of her high bullet count. Time to devastate his soul. Look at that. That's just devastation. Got him! Ah, 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 ah. Woo! Let me get another potion berry. We almost gained another level. Hey, hey! They're still coming. So many. I don't think I can do this on my own. Well, you beat their boss, so that's a, that's a thing. Uncle Tesla. Aunt Schalt. Everyone. Daddy. Everyone in here, hurry. So here's Armengard. She looks, uh, interesting. Okay. Hey, run away, cowards. Oh, she slapped him. Child abuse. That's what's going on at Lancer Stream. Child abuse. Come in. How's it going? What, do you want to smack me around some more? Did you rest well? How are you feeling? It's Schalt! Much better, thank you. I'm sorry to worry you. I must have caused you so much trouble. Oh, don't worry about it. You know, everyone's waiting downstairs. They all want to thank you for bringing back all our things. Uncle Tesla, Aunt Schalt, 
there's something I need to talk to you about. I, I want to become a drifter. My father disappeared into the wasteland, but one thing he taught me was the ability to handle arms. If there's anybody out there, out there in the vast wasteland needing my help, I want to have wings so that I can fly right to them. I know it sounds arrogant, and it might even be a mistake on my part. Even during this last incident, I wanted to help everyone, but in the end, I was the one who needed help. But even so, I can't turn away from this desire of wanting to help people. When something sad happens, it's memories engraved into the heart. Nobody wants to have sad memories. Even I know that. So, if my arm is able to help even one person out of trouble... Dear... You've given this a lot of thought, haven't you? So you're gonna slap me again, or what's the deal? Hmm... Unlike land, the open sky has no roads for you to follow. There's no one there to guide you. You must find your own destination, and fly there with your strength alone. That's what it means to be a drifter in the wasteland. Hasty Steven! If you desire to help people, always make that your destination, and fly as far as your wings will take you. If you're ever too tired to fly against the wind, you'll always be welcome here. Besides, you are family, and we are proud of you. I'm sure everyone feels the same way as well. I'm doing alright. Hope you're doing good as well. Uncle Tesla, Aunt Schalt, thank you. And... I'm sorry. That's good. It's good to be good. I've always believed that anyone who can say that they're sorry from the bottom of their heart is both strong and brave. I guess with such a strong heart, you deserve my blessing as well. But I think you should tell someone else, too. Go tell your mother in heaven about your decision. Oh boy. PS4. Mom used to love these flowers. I see them placed here sometimes. But who could be doing it? I don't know. Probably Hasty Steve. The young girl heads to her mother's grave to bid farewell to her childhood. Her expertise in arms, taught by her father, bolsters her resolve. That is all she needed. That is all. Her dreams of seeing the world have become her strength, and lifts her wings. But the path to the future is often a winding one. It tires some and leads many astray. Arms alone cannot overcome adversity, nor are they the only source of strength. The moment the young girl realizes this, she will truly become a drifter. Nice. I'm having an okay week, I suppose. Around and around we go. The world that encircles me begins to revolve. South Farm. The gears grind and the spinning wheels of fate begin to turn. And finally, the train departs. A journey without a purpose. The train just steams away to the world beyond today. Hint <laughs> that rhymed. The accident that ensued on the train I happened to be on.
and the three strangers I would later encounter, those were all coincidences. But if coincidence is a part of fate, I want to roam this vast Vilgaia to find the reason behind our encounter. Yes, I am. I'm sure that one day this tale will become a fond memory. And that is the end of all the prologues. Isn't that exciting? So I guess that's where the this is where the game really begins. Isn't that right? Woo, okay. I actually do want to keep streaming, but unfortunately, I've got stuff to do. So we're going to call this a stream here. I've been streaming for about almost three hours. Unf I would like to keep going, but I've got stuff to do, unfortunately. Plus, I'm, pr plus I'm getting hungry, so I need to... Uh, I need to get some food and such, so thanks everyone for stopping by, and I shall see y'all next time. Have yourselves a good night, and dance a jig, and it'll be good times. Good stuff.